Hey guys, this is Walker on the Holden Holden SSV Series 2. This is actually the last Holden Commodore made in Australia. Which is actually kind of sad. So I'll be doing a little walk around of it. Towards the front. Got your headlights, as you can see. Got your LED daytime rain lights. A piano black trim here. It's quite nice. It's also got a LS3 under the hood, 6.2 litre V8. Leave the same one you get in the Chevy Camaros. Some vents here. This car has a fuel consumption of. 12.9 litres per 100 k's. It's a VF SSV V8 petrol automatic. Sorry for the background noise because this deal is right next to a main road, so I do apologise. Anyhow, the rooms. They are Bridgestone Potenza tyres and they are 19 inch. Can't see. 19 inch rims. Rims a bit dirty. Finishing a nice black colour there. Also got Bem Bemro brakes. Let's see. Indicators. Show you the rear of the car. Series 2 version, so looks slightly different with the tail lights, so as you can see. Quite exhausts. Also finished off with a pin of black material there. It's also got four parking sensors in the rear. Got a reversing camera. Got a little spoiler. It's quite nice. To show you the boost releases right here. Pretty windy today. Very windy. Oh, sure the boot space. Got really huge boot here. You can see. Pull this up. Got a full size spare tire. Something you don't see in modern cars these days. So you can see how the actual black of the rims are. Because they're pretty dirty over there. Looks very nice. And you got your torque and everything on this. Very nice. Ah. Hand slip. Show the interior. There you go, much more quieter than in here. There you go. Here's the interior of the Holden Commodore. Last generation, built in Australia. 2016, I believe. Model? 2017, sorry. This is the front, you got your rev counter. As you can see, your temperature gauge for the engine, got your speedo, your fuel gauge, and you got a little LCD display cluster there. Leather wrapped steering wheel, as you can see, it's also perforated, it's quite nice. Controls to the left for your cruise control, lane departure warning, lane the collision, the collision assist thing. So it detects a car in front, it automatically starts braking if you are too late to respond. Got your hands-free telephone, 
you hear? Answer the counter calls. Volume controls. Quite nice. Very nice. Got power shifters. Got your wiper controls to the left and your headlights and indicate the controls to the right, which is, there you go. Let's move the seat a bit more back. Lights. It's a soft touch dash. It's very nice, even here. Got some Alcantara. And you got the SSV logo there. Quite nice. It's a nice piano black finish. I believe in America they call this the Chevy Impala SS. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, it's also carpeted. See? Got a Bose sound system. If you can see that there. Very nice. Pump control. Very nice, the feedback of the dials. Fan speed, different zones. Recycling. Buns have some good feedback. You have your Holden Mylix system. Looks like the battery is dead. Or. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. It's alright. You got all your controls here. Shortcut keys. Um. Might not be tuned. Oh, wait, no. Pretty good stereo system, it's getting bows of bows, so what you expect. Don't play for too long because of copyright reasons. Go to home. It's very responsive. Navigation. Maps. It's quite nice, you can put your destinations and stuff like that. Destination shortcut. Dress injury. No. Let's go to Springville, see how. So, yeah, Dom, good idea. It's pretty responsive. Home. Sweating, you can see I'm like sweating already, it's so hot in here. Get the idea, you got phone, you got. What else you got? You got Pandora, you got everything. Speed, more, what else you got? Settings, tone. Yeah, you get the idea. Nifty, got the third speaker there. Vending mirror. Interior illumination. Sunroof. Another vending mirror here. Go down here, you've got power outlet. Got some storage here. A vinyl shift boot. The wrapped gear knob, which is quite nice. Some more piano black trim. Some storage here for your keys. Your electronic parking brake. This is for your cameras, parking sensors. Got two cup holders. Got leather armrest. Some grey stitching here. Which has a USB port and a power outlet, which is quite handy. For the seats. I mentioned you got a Alcantara stripe that goes around the center here. You can see that. Quite nice. It's also perforated. Ow. It's also perforated. You've got some Alcantara on the outside too. You can see them. Great stitching here. Very nice. Also got some adequate storage. Some more Alcantara that goes all the way around. Even onto the door cards here. Soft touch. Got some more here. I mean, the switches also are quite nice. Look at that. We've got metal pedals. Go. Sweating too much in here. Let's see some storage there. Oh, leather here. Very nice. Feels like actually feels like vinyl. But um, yeah, very nice. That bone steering wheel. I just realised just now. Show the rear. Not 
too sure the seats fall down. I don't think they do. Maybe wrong about that, so feel free to correct me in the comments below. See the doors here. Door card. Very windy today. It's a lot cooler in here. In the back, it's very solid. Australian built car. More Alcantara and door cards, which is really nice. Speaker there, got a little bit of storage here. Some more piano black trim. Yeah. Got some pockets here. All leather. Vinyl correction. Vents for your aircon. Got a center armrest. No cup holders. I think the center console does fall down. If I press this, that. Okay, there you go. So the center console does fall down. But I'm not too sure about the rest. Okay, there you go. So, kind of like a VT Commodore. You've got two cup holders here. And you got a portable dinner table. Excellent for your dates, which is really good. Yeah, I forgot. It's actually quite handy. I haven't seen that in a while since the VTs. Little seats, also perforate, same that Alcantara stripe here. Very nice. Show you the dashboard from the rear seats. Got a large transmission tunnel, but you still have plenty of space space to keep your feet, which is quite good. Got good headroom, as usual. Good for tall occupants. Got good bolstering on these seats, which is great. Being an SS model, you're going to need that if you're going sideways. Very nice. The door card's actually really nice as well. Show you that 6.2 litre V8 engine. That's what you can see in the story. Assisted, there's your V8 engine. It is an LS3 motor, in case you're wondering. You probably said that already. It's very nice. This does run on 95 minimum, recommended 98. Very nice. Last built Commodore. Pretty sad. Sad day for us Australians. Well, that's my little walk around of the last built modern Commodore. And this is an LS3 model. So we're getting replaced by this new German built Commodore. Which I do have a review on Carbase One. Sky is a uh, French Gully Holden. Um, I will leave the description in. I mean, I will leave the details in the description below. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm um, sorry for the mistakes and all. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks.